Hey, what's going on? Here with uh, my good buddy Bob Phillips on a drink with Derek. But ironically, we are not having drinks because no. we uh, because we had drinks earlier at the Golden Steer. <laughs> we had enough drinks. A for fantastic, <laughs> fantastic dinner. Yes, we'll drink afterwards. We got a show to do. Yeah, you know, we got to entertain yeah. people. We can't get completely rocked out of our gourds. Uh, your website, by the way, Bob Phillips, comedian out of Detroit, here in Las Vegas, working with me at uh, Delirious Comedy Club at the Grand Hotel. Here on, uh, Very happy to be doing so. By the way, this is fun. This, this is, is it's great, great, man. It's gonna be a, gra- a great week. We've been waiting for this. What um, you I mean, you've been doing comedy for fifteen years, mm-hmm. and you have just a very uh, unique history about yourself. You used to used to fight. You used to box. I did. When was this, and and what happened? Well, it was uh, back in the eighties, and I was uh, I was a Golden Glover, and uh, the farthest that I reached was the finals in the nineteen eighty five uh, Go- Detroit Golden Glove, and uh, which is um, now was this know, in the city of Detroit? Was this like that Kronk boxing it, team? Yeah, it was all thing I, with the uh, with Tommy Hearns. Yeah, and, I was I wasn't on Kronk's team. I fought for a gym called Eighth Street and another called Crowley, okay. which. Uh, which fought front fighters, right? And uh, and Livonia Boxing Club. Uh, so you had you had a lot of different uh, people from a lot of different areas, and um, it was uh, that was the, the the highest level that I reached was was Golden Gloves, and uh, which is which is like a rung below Olympic boxing, which itself is a rung below. What was your boxing. What was your record? My record was eight and two. What's the uh, What's the worst fight that you ever had? <laughs> The worst fight I ever yeah. had. Uh, I'm gonna say this was this was at a uh, this was at a Fourth of July thing. It was in uh, it was a cell. It was a. Now, is this even a sanctioned event, or was this like in your backyard? Oh no, no. This, <laughs> these are. I don't know if this is like relatives. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I, had, I was I was a lot more than eight and two for non- <laughs> non-sanctioned fights. <laughs> I might have been I might have been eighty and ten. I don't know who knows what it was, but uh, <laughs> the worst fight <laughs> the worst fight I ever had. Um, I was I was never knocked down. I never lost my feet. Um, I never knocked out. Uh, but I think the worst fight I ever had was at a, it was, a it was at an event called the Spree, which was a celebration of a, a city uh, in Michigan, Livonia. Right. There. And they held these fights every Fourth of July, and it was at a big hockey arena, and there was there was a good thousand people at this thing. And I had all my friends there, and it was the first time my old man showed up to a fight. And uh, in the first round, I was tattooing this guy. I was just you know pop 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 pop. Right. And he uncorked the left hook that I didn't see coming. And it wobbled me. It, it, you know, it sure. didn't knock me out. But I was, I was. Uh, they used to call it Queer Street. You can't say that anymore. But that's what they called it. You, know, you mean when you would? You just, you know, you see, uh, see stars. You're not on the planet anymore. They called it Queer Street. Queer Street. Queer Street. That was the I've old. I've never yeah. heard <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Knocked them into Queer Street. That was the. Um, and it had nothing to do with, uh, you know, the LGBTQ thing. Nothing right. like that. It was just an old term. And uh, I was on Queer Street for a while, and I didn't wake up until about the middle of the second round because I, I, I literally don't remember it and uh, I was uh, I was kind of rubber legged and, uh, and, and, and then so he he took you know the half of the first round and, and most of the second and so I came I, I woke up in right. the third round and I won that round but I lost that fight on a split decision uh, and I don't remember most but of that it. was it that was a that was the worst fight that was the worst fight yeah. you always wore a suit you know as Bob the suit on Twitter that's your handle Bob the suit. Uh, your website, by the way, is is what now? So uh, BobPhillipsComedy.com. BobPhillipsComedy.com. Just released a, uh, a brand new album. Yes, I did. Called uh, $10 Gift Card. Yes, sir. Highly recommended. Thank funny, you. Funny, 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 funny. Thank you, sir. What, when you, you, you always wore a suit. You've worn a suit as long as I've known you. We were t- yes. going back. We were talking like 15 years <laughs> from the first yeah. time that you and I had ever met. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny. Do you ever get, I mean, I, I love it. I think it's cool. It's great. I mean, being here in Vegas, very old yeah. school. Yeah. I love that. Uh, mentality and the the idea behind it. What's your philosophy behind wearing that? Why why wear it? Yeah. Well, I I, I got I started comedy 50, almost 16 years ago, and I was in business for years and years. And right. So it seemed like a really natural thing for me just to wear what I was comfortable in. Right. I was a salesman, I was a marketing guy, and this is what I always wore. So it seemed like a logical extension to just wear that. It's it's my armor, you know. It's mm-hmm. Everybody has their armor, right? And uh, it just seemed like an easy thing to wear on stage, and I got used to it. And um, I wasn't trying to make any statement or anything like that. It's right. Just, it's just what I felt good in. So I've been doing it for that long. Now you've been on, you've been on Twitter since as long as I can remember. I mean, mm-hmm. and you and I, 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 your writing on Twitter is so funny and so tight. 
and just absolutely hilarious. It really, really is. Thank I mean, just I mean, honestly, it's God. weird. It's uh, it's not what I do in my act, really. Well, and it's but it's cool though. I think I think Twitter's a great exercise for really anybody yes. in brevity. I mean, it, when it is. when Twitter was much more constrained with the characters, yeah, and they kind of loosened it up a little bit before I wish it they really, had to yeah, it really forced you to tighten. Yes, it up. absolutely. And so, I mean, what I mean, what got you into doing? that and then I mean you've got a following now of like what, maybe 13,000 15,000 people uh, something, something like, like that. that yeah something right. like that I think so I mean um, people are into your stuff I mean these yeah. are legit followers I mean you yeah. have a bunch of retweets and likes and stuff like that uh -huh. I mean what got you into doing that I think I think the idea was a uh, Twitter has a uh, has a feel to it that uh, that is different from stand up it's different from Facebook it's different from any other uh, forum that you go on and, and perform, it, it's, it's, and it's a performance forum. Right. You know, it really is. You're writing jokes. You're putting out thoughts and ideas there, and it's got a uh, it's got a certain uh, vibe to it. That it, somebody somebody told me one time that uh, Facebook is where you go to make your life look better than it really is. Twitter is where you go to make your life look worse than it really is, <laughs> and that's. That's kind of how it works, you know. It's, it's very self-deprecating. You cannot go on Twitter with any kind of uh, braggadocio or hubris or anything. It, it won't work because people won't follow you. They just won't. I mean, you're taking the president out of that equation, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. I mean, he's got, I don't know, 55 million followers, whatever the hell, whatever the hell he's got going. But, yeah, it's a, it's a different thing altogether. I, and not for nothing. I mean, it's, and again, now that we're talking about Twitter and obviously how active uh Trump is on Twitter yeah. with with the election coming up and with, and with the with the field of Democrats, which to me is like literally trying to pick which special Olympian is going to cross the finish line. <laughs> Who do you think is going to be the person that represents the Democratic Party in the next uh, the next election? I, I think I think it's going to be Biden. I really you think do. it's going to be Biden. I, I do because right they they're 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 eating themselves alive the democratic party right about who they're going to put up to run and lose against trump now i'm right. not a trump fan you know right no i know you but not. uh he is as my cousin uh eric jackman says the god emperor of all politics right now he's just the black hole uh <laughs> into which everything else is sucked you know uh there's no but there's nobody that's going to beat him i just don't think there's anybody and uh, i mean you can put elizabeth warren up and now he you know dismisses her as Pocahontas, which is actually kind of funny because, you know, she just, made that claim. I love, here's the thing, I, what, I, what I love about uh, Trump is that he just doesn't care. No, he doesn't he care doesn't about care. Anything. He doesn't care. He would, if he talked the way he talked and he ran a Dollar General <laughs> in Topeka, Kansas, yeah. he'd be fired instantly. <laughs> it's instantly. just, it's so, I love his, his level of just, I don't, I could care less yeah, attitude, yeah. which is, which cracks me up. Yeah. So you think it's going to be Biden? I think it's going to be Biden because you cannot, you, you, you're not going to feel Elizabeth Warren. Um, she, you know, she's uh, she's a lunch lady. I mean, that's right. what she looks like. She, she's very smart. She's, I think, she's that very sounds conscious. so sexist. Sorry. Yeah, I know it is, but that's oh, just yeah, the, that, this. Uh, this is all about marketing, right. okay? And um, now Buttigieg is a strong candidate, but he's not going to make it. Um, and I think, you know, Bernie Sanders. I mean. You know, people. It, it's it's a. I think he's a nice man, and that's about it. You know, he's got some good ideas. But at the end of the day, you they have to pick a centrist candidate. Right. They can't be far left because there, nobody's going to vote for that. Not no. even not even the Democrats. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be Biden, and uh, I think he's going to lose. Now you're a monster uh, bourbon fan. I am huge bourbon fan. I am. What's the worst, as we wrap this up, what is the worst bourbon experience that you have had? <laughs> oh, I, I can tell you that right now. Uh, this was, uh, and I needed a bourbon bad. Uh, I had broken my shoulder last spring. I cracked the ball off. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, this was, I was probably three weeks removed from this. I was walking around in an immobilizer, and I had to do a show out in uh, Clinton Township, Michigan. And I forget the name of the place, but it was also a distillery. Right. And they had no business being a distillery. Yeah. And I and I ordered this bourbon pre-show, and I thought, okay, well, at least I got this. I'm just my, my, it's throbbing. I'm in such pain. And I took a sip of this and thought, I'm sorry, I didn't ask for lighter fluid. What is this? What is this mess? And that was, uh, that's all they had. And that was were it. Crowing about this being oh, the yeah. best bourbon. I mean, it There's was the nothing worse than. Mess. Oh God, that's yeah. the worst. It was terrible. 
uh, uh, bourbon needs to come from Kentucky, yeah. from the experts. It has to. Yeah, and you and I have killed uh, a few bottles. We have killed several <laughs> at your house. BobPhillipsComedy.com is his website. The new album is called $10 Gift Card. It's the least you could do. Yeah. The least, <laughs> the least, the least you could do. do. Is yeah. buy buy his album and yeah. uh, listen for it on uh, Sirius XM satellite radio yes. and uh, all the other uh, streaming platforms too yeah. and also podcast the Sal and Bob Show which yes. is brilliant check it out find Thank it you. at Sal and Bob Show and then uh, website for that also uh, no there's or just what a they Facebook page. Facebook we page. don't have a website we're Sal and Bob yeah Sal and Bob Show see this guy fight him buy him a bourbon thanks he loves you thanks buddy. <laughs>